Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Mr. Very here, and today I'm actually going to be doing a new uh, Life of Dravius. So, I've been wanting to do the Frozen Trench for a while, but I actually went there on Adranus, forgetting that you have to have the Ice Islands quest completely complete. So, I'm probably going to do that as a Life of Adrenus video at some point in the near future, but he actually just sent me to the wrong place as I'm just wandering into it aimlessly. <laughs> uh, and there's plenty of spammers on, as always, but um, I actually just also recorded a Grindfest video of the new area and questing and hunting in it, um, but... I, that's going to take quite a bit longer to upload than this, so I decided, eh, I'll get this up first, and I'll do a little video with Dravius, since I haven't been too active lately, and I talk about that in the uh, Grindfest videos, but I am back, and I am going to try to at least get one video uploaded daily, um... I'm probably not going to meet that goal, but if I can do at least five videos a week on separate days, then I think you guys will be pretty pleased, I'll be pretty pleased, so everyone's going to be happy, and that's what's important. But anyway, to get the Frozen Trench, you actually have to do quite a bit. Uh, it's not the easiest in the world. You have to have the Ice Islands quest fully complete, and you have to have a good amount of the... Uh, the Explorer Society done, and when you first, and it's actually a pretty decent hunting spot, um, it's not the best or the worst, but, you know, it's, it's actually pretty decent, um, and I would say that it's most likely not going to be camped in comparison to, uh, other areas that you might want to go to, those are probably, such as Colossa, or the... Uh, sunken quarter, those are much, much more likely to be camped than this. And on this first floor here, it's just Quora Mantisins and Quora Constrictors, so it's kind of similar to the, um, kind of similar to the sunken quarter in that respect. So if you're looking to do a Quora task just by killing easy Quoras, this is actually a pretty good spot to do that. Um, but I'm going to be showing the whole thing. I'm also going to be showing where the quest is here, if I uh, remember exactly where it is. I think I do, but we will see, won't we? And I'm pretty sure you go... Nope, this is not it. But that's fine. Random little excursion, nothing wrong with that. And we get the Mantisons taken care of. And I'm actually going to put Terra Gran on. Because I'm taking a little more damage than I thought I would. And yeah, and one of the main reasons that I've been kind of discouraged to play lately is simply because going from double EXP to normal EXP, especially with your stamina gone, is just miserable. Um, and a lot of you guys actually said that well, once it goes, you're going to have a hard time playing, and yeah, you guys were definitely right. Um, it's kind of a double-edged sword, you know, once you're so spoiled and used to something so nice, going back to the normal way of life is actually somewhat difficult. But the quest is actually over to the west, but we're going to head to the east first, and there's five pits here? Yes. A total of five pits. And they each hold uh, different stuff. One of them holds massive water elementals, one holds a bunch of Quora Predators, but I don't really think those are really are honestly that great for uh, anyone. I think if you're going to hunt here, the main thing you want is right where we are. And there's a decent amount of Predators and stuff on this floor. We're just somehow not running into them yet. I know where they are to the west. I'm not too familiar with the east. As you can see, I actually don't even have it all mapped out uh, on this PC, but that's what we're here to do. I'm here to show you guys this area. 
and we are just annihilating Quora's with um, the crystal crossbow and prismatic bolts, but I kind of expected that, you know, they're not exactly the strongest creatures. Especially not the weaker ones. Wow, he just loves his invis. Oh my god. Spamming. I don't think I've ever seen a mantis and go invisible that many times after getting knocked out. That was a little excessive. But we're going to haste so we can get through this a little quicker. And yeah, this seems to have a lot more lower level Quora's than I remember. I remember uh, several predators being here, but I don't know if I'm if this the way I went over to the east is actually uh, the way that just doesn't have many. Or okay, so there's our first pred. So they are here. So that's good. Starting to get a little concerned. And we're going to use Thunderstorms as well, just to deal damage to the Mantison. And this character actually has a pretty good magic level. He's magic level 22, almost 23. Uh, better than a lot of the Paladins do nowadays because of offline training. I got a lot of my magic level from just manual training, so... That's one of the disadvantages of offline, is that you're actually not getting up everything you could. And as a sorcerer or druid, you're not getting up your shielding, which you could be while you're just simply mana sitting. And unfortunately, we've got a pred on us, so... Ooh, and I did not mean to do that, but we're going to focus on him first. And I wanted to see what a Grand Con would do to him. And actually not too much. But those thunderstorms are actually hitting quite decent. Not bad at all. And we pick the Manison off. Those things are actually kind of annoying for paladins, I think. But they do drop blue robes occasionally, so I guess they have some sort of redeeming feature. And it seems like the majority of the uh, tougher Quoras really aren't around until you get quite a bit deeper in. So it starts off kind of slow in comparison to uh, how difficult it can get. And he's just going to spam invisibility too, it would appear. But we take him out quickly, so that's good. And I'm trying to check on our stuff. Okay, so we've been here for about seven minutes. It's not bad. And I'm going to go around the south side so we can see that too. And head over to the west so we can check that out. And we get another constrictor, nothing big. Pick him off. He drops a whole gold coin and a long sword, so that's awful nice. But yeah, this is, I actually did used to hunt here, um, I think on my paladin, I honestly don't remember, but it's definitely not a bad spot, and with the new tasks, I hunted here before tasks even existed, so that was a while ago, but, and it was actually also before the sunken quarter existed, and also when uh, Yalaha, or Colossa was the only spot you could hunt Quora's, so it was somewhat popular for that reason. But anyway, I digress. And, yeah, this character's got to get that shielding up. He's got alright distance, not the greatest for his level, but it's also not the worst I've ever seen. I'm surprised that the, that Quora didn't run. Usually, Mantisons run at around that HP. And yeah, that one definitely took off. So we're going to try to finish him. If And we actually do end up doing that successfully as well as uh, off-screening another Quora that was inbound. So that's alright. Definitely a success. 
and you guys can see what's in each of the pits and actually if you look up look it up on wiki it also tells you uh, what creatures are in what individual pit based on where it's located within the spawn so I don't really feel like going down and getting beaten up in close range and waiting supplies and also that would take quite a bit more time so and it's I believe if you follow this south ridge here which is what we are doing uh, there's a lot of predators there's one or two every so often and it's not it's I'd say it's better for lower levels trying to do quoras because it's not quite as thick with quoras as Colossa or the uh, sunken quarters so you can actually 1v1 the predators without worrying about two or three more coming and absolutely destroying you and we get a brass armor nothing really special yet but that's alright predators are actually quite good for loot though um, they drop skull helmets uh, and they drop royal spears and actually when I was low on money I used to hunt here with royal spears and poison walls and I would make a ton more than I would spend and of course they drop seven royal spears at a time which is a huge advantage for a paladin but anywho they uh what I was gonna say is they're lootless they drop relic swords glacier robes skull helmets the quora bones which are the creature products are worth 500 gold each so yeah definitely some a decent loot list and they actually have pretty good stats on it considering how weak they are uh, there's there's a bunch of creatures that I've always wondered why they drop such great stuff based on how easy they are to kill and then there's you know creatures that are quite a bit more difficult that they might drop decent stuff but the odds of you seeing it are slim to none so but you know that's kinda typical and we get our first fish fin and I remember I, I don't think fish fins are really worth much anymore and I'm sure that they're gonna go down even more now that the uh, Frazzle Maws, which are the new creatures from Rashu Mall, drop them pretty frequently. So. And he's almost down. The whole two gold, so we're not even going to bother with that. We're going to run ahead so I can show you the quest and then end the video. And we'll see how much experience power we're getting here. Right now only 150k, so it's pretty bad for someone of my level. Um, this is definitely for lower level paladins and mages who just want to get the task completed or test out their luck um, against Quora's and see if they actually can handle them. Like I said, the other areas, it's a little more difficult to gauge yourself on uh, how well you can do against each individual Quora simply because of the mass amount of them in each area. And I think there's one more predator. Actually, I'm quite positive there's a predator back here because I believe this is where the quest is. Oh, and the predator gets a very mean hit in. Um, as, of course, is to be expected by them, but... Predators are odd creatures. They're... They don't have much HP and they don't really have any crazy resistances. They actually have some decent weaknesses and take a decent amount of damage to physical stuff, but they can hit for as hard as or harder than, it seems like, uh, a behemoth. So it's kind of crazy when you think about it. But then again, they just released the Frazzle Maws, so 
guess it's not too crazy. And I don't think it's, I don't know if it's this spot you have to go to. Actually, I think it's to the south. So I'm going to check that out before we end here. Uh, I honestly think it's one of the dead explorers. And I may have missed him, but I know the quest is based to the west. Um, I know that's not like the most helpful thing in the world, but I suppose it's a little bit better than nothing. And at least you guys got to see the layout of the area, see where things spawn, um, and see if this might be a spawn that appeals to you. There's actually a really wide variety of people's main characters' levels in my audience, so... And that's actually a good thing, because I'm able to show lots of different stuff, and it's going to apply to at least some people, so... Hey, can't go wrong with that. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, uh, comment on this video with any feedback you may have for me. Definitely give me some suggestions for where you want to see Dravius go. Uh, if you think that he'd be able to do decent there, not waste a lot, not be in danger, etc. You know, just be reasonable. And if you enjoy and uh, if you enjoy the sorry guys if you enjoy the content I produce and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then subscribe to my channel so you can get updated whenever I produce new stuff thanks for watching guys